with every excuse. She hasn't even tried. Can I please have just one moment, please? I mean, I guess you all keep on. This is an interrupt the judge kind of hearing, I guess. Let's just interrupt the judge and talk to the client. Let me. I'm sorry, judge. I'm sorry. I am too. And this is why every time Ms. Young comes, every time I try to keep giving her a chance, every time. And this is the day that I'm going to enforce the 10 days in the Wayne County Jail. Because in Judge Bryant's court, we have a violation of probation hearing. This defendant has refused to complete her terms of probation and the judge has had enough of the excuses. Let's see what Judge Bryant has to say. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> Go. Right. Additionally, Ms. Stevenson, I'm going to bring in Ms. Champion. Okay. And Your Honor, Ms. Young, I believe, is in person in your courtroom. She has indicated she has a medical emergency. I, she got a medical emergency, and I'm going to tell you where it's at. And mic drop. Understood, Your Honor. Okay. Um, I need her to be in the courtroom. Officer Crafts, I need Ms. Young in the courtroom. I'll handle her matter now. And we're going to have to mark her file medical. <laughs> That's no good. <laughs> She's in the courtroom. Okay. I'm ready on Young. I'm sorry, did y'all hear me? She's coming up now, Your Honor. Oh. She's had time. All right, this is case number 21 of 5635601, the people of the state of Michigan versus Marnice Young. Defendant is charged with one count of child abuse, fourth degree, one count of operating under the influence of a controlled substance. Today is the date set for review. Ms. Stevenson. For the record, Your Honor, Janice Stevenson appearing on behalf of Marnice Young. Ms. Young, ma'am, please tell the judge your full name. Marnice Young. Today is a day set for review. The last time um, my notes reflect from the previous hearing on January 26th that I, I have a note saying um, that she had missed her January 3rd, 2023 test, that she still owed $420. She had been placed on probation for 24 months in 2021. Uh, I have that she was sentenced to 10 days in the Wayne County Jail. And then um, she was, I told her she had to come in person today. And then I received an update from Ms. Bumpus that she still owes $421, um, $420. Um, she still has not completed any of the days of community service and she missed another drug test. Ms. Stevenson? Your Honor, my notes also reflect that, um, that at the very least, um this court um i don't know if it will be a recent since the inpatient your honor but i do see from Ms. bumpus's report that um that harbor oaks inpatient treatment out of new baltimore michigan was completed your honor that's nice but she she missed another drug let me tell you let me go back let me go back let me go back to november 9th November 9th, 2022, my notes say defendant on the verge of revocation. Okay. That's, that's what my notes say from November 9th. And then I scheduled her for January 26th. And then she came January 26th and um, she had missed the drug test. She, she hadn't done any community service and she still owed the money. Now, here we are and I violated her. I said 10 days Wayne County Jail. Now here we are two months later. We in the same situation. She missed the drug test. She hasn't done any community service. 
and she hasn't provided proof of attending NA. She, I'm getting ready to revoke her probation. So, Your Honor, I'm sorry, what I do have something indicating that there was a drug test that was completed on March 1st. Is that one of the dates the court's referring to for the missed dates? She missed the test on March 6th. Okay. I, I don't know why she drug tested on March 1st. She drug tested um, on, on February 5th, February 28th, and then she missed the test on on March 6th. I don't know why she tested on March 1st. The information that Ms. Young has, Your Honor, is that that was the day um, that she was, that her color came up. Well, let's call Ms. Bumpus. Let's let's get Ms. Bumpus to find out why Ms. Bumpus is saying she missed the test on March 6th. So if her color came up on March 1st and then her color came up on March 6th, why she didn't go back on March 6th? Understood, Your Honor. And then may I just make the, just for clarification, Your Honor, um, did the court have in its notes that the Harbor Oaks treatment was already acknowledged? Because I didn't yes, have I have it. That she completed that inpatient treatment. She she completed that it by the, um before January. Understood. Okay. But what she is not doing is her community service. NA, and she keep missing these drug tests. Let's call Miss Bumpus. Okay, thank you, Your Honor. Madam Clerk, can you call Miss Bumpus and see if she could come to the courtroom, please? Sure. Miss Young could sit down because if she go to the hospital right now, she is going into custody of the of the uh, Wayne County Jail. That's right. She's coming, Judge. Thank you. You're welcome. I don't know what Miss Young is saying, but I hope you all realize she, you all are being recorded. You're standing right there next to the mic. So I don't know what she's saying, but it's being, it's being recorded in the courtroom. Yes, Your Honor. Is she looking at so, Your Honor, are we just waiting right now for Ms. Bumpus to come in? Yes. Okay, so can is it okay if Ms. Young has a seat over there where she won't be, she'll be out of earshot? She can have, have a seat wherever. She can have a seat. And then let's, let's try to clear out some of these people who've been here all morning. I'm ready. I'm Samson Judge. Ready to uh, go back on the record with respect to uh, Ms. Young. And if Ms. Young needs to remain seated, she she can. But all right, so we're back on the record with case number two one five six three five six zero one. Miss Bumpus, put your appearance on for me. Yes, good morning, Your Honor. Lori Bumpus on behalf of the probation department. All right, Ms. Bumpus, uh, I received an update from you um, <clears throat> yesterday at 3 p.m. Uh, indicating that, um, among other things, that Ms. Young had missed her drug test on March 6th. She did not provide proof of attending NA, and she still had a balance and seven days of community service. Ms. Young says that, at the very least, the drug test uh information was incorrect so i asked for you to come um do you have a, yes. an update on that yes your honor i spoke with miss young uh, regarding her missed test she said that she had gone so we contacted ats and they did confirm that she actually did miss that test they confirmed it on march that 6th. she missed the test correct yeah okay and so what is she trying to show you um, that says she went to some tests on March 1st, because that doesn't line up with the dates that you have for me on here. Right. I guess that it looks like a payment. That's that drug treatment center. Like we have to pay with our uh, credit card. She paid with the card on the 1st, I guess, for her test. That's you know, the day I call every day, and it's, you know, it's the day that my color comes out. But she, she did actually test on the dates um, that we submitted. She tried. tested on the 28th. Every two months, Ma'am, stop speaking. Stop speaking. She tested on the 28th, according to your records, Ms. Bumpus, correct? Yes, Your Honor. 28th of February. 
Right. Apparently she made a payment on the first. And then she didn't test on the six. Correct. Okay. Ms. Stevenson. So, Your Honor, again, we would just reiterate the health concerns that Ms. Young has expressed to myself and I believe as well um, as to Ms. Bumpus. Um, I, I don't have what? any answers. First of all, Ms. Young is going to have to stop talking. Why is she sitting there talking? I can't, mm -hmm. I can't hear you. What, so, what? I don't have... I don't have any explanation as to the missed test on March 6th, other than to offer to the court the explanation that Ms. Young has indicated that she um, checks her color, Your Honor, and reports for testing as the color directs that she do so. Um, the last test, I don't know what the result would have been, would have been from March 1st. Um, okay, why isn't she going to ENA? I don't have an answer for that, Your Honor. I need Ms. Young to stop being disruptive to my court proceedings. All right. So you don't have an answer as to why she's not attending NA. Why hasn't she completed the seven days of community service? For that, Your Honor, I do have some information um, from Ms. Young's treating physician. Well, she's presented to Ms. Bumpus, Your Honor, um, just today, which does indicate that she does have a work disability from January 13th, 2023 through April 12th of 2023. Um, the information, which I'm going to get back to Ms. Bumpus, indicates the work restrictions prohibit her from lifting more than 20 pounds prohibit her from bending, reaching, squatting, twisting, running, jumping, excessive stair use, or strenuous activity, that she's not to use any um, any air-powered tools until she's cleared by her physician. Let she me ask you, let me just interrupt you. What prevents her from serving coffee at Capuchin Soup Kitchen? Um, Your Honor, the rest of the report indicates that she is prescribed replacement services for housework, Your Honor. She's also prescribed um, patient care or attendant care assistance eight hours daily, seven days a week from January 13th through April 12th of 2023. And she is uh, prohibited from driving, Your Honor, with regard to recreational activities um, that looks, well, just says the patient is restricted from engaging in or attempting to engage in activities that would aggravate his or her underlying condition by lifting greater than the amount indicated above, excessive bending, twisting, turning, or prolonged standing or sitting. Or so sitting. She, can, she, can list, she can lift less than the prohibited amount above. Yes, Your Honor. Less exactly. Than What's preventing her from going um, to the Salvation Army and lifting less than the prohibited amount? I would say as long as there's no um, activity activity of the nature in the other areas stated, Your Honor. But how do we I know? How do we know? Why Why don't we know? Because Miss Young is giving me every excuse. Every excuse. And that note only restricts her beginning in January. Prior to January, Miss Young could have completed the community service. But Ms. Young continues to come to court with every excuse. She hasn't even <laughs> tried. Can I please have just one moment, please? I mean, I guess you all keep on. This is an interrupt the judge kind of hearing, I guess. Let's just interrupt the judge and talk to the client. There she goes. I'm sorry, Judge. I'm sorry. I am too. And this is why every time Ms. Young comes, every time I try to keep giving her a chance, every time. And this is the day that I'm going to enforce the 10 days in the Wayne County Jail. Because Ms. Young continues to come to me with every excuse, every excuse known to man, she keeps giving it to me. She could have done that community service. She's been on probation since September 2021. Those restrictions did not come into effect until January. But notwithstanding those restrictions, there is plenty of community service that could fit within those restrictions. She could have gone to the Capital Soup Kitchen and they could have given her something to do within those restrictions. She could sit exactly on her walker that she's sitting on right now and she could help at the cabbage soup kitchen wash the dishes at the point that it's excessive stretching or whatever they she tried that note said then the, they would have told her okay stop and you could do this she could have gone to the salvation army and lifted uh help them unpack the boxes when the people come and out of the kindness of their hearts give donations to the salvation army miss young could have gone there and helped them unpack those boxes while she sat on her walker miss young could have gone to the great centers of hope Help them unpack a box. Ms. Young could have come to the, to the court and helped us unpack a box. She could have gone to somebody's church 
and help them wipe off a pew. Ms. Young does not want to do the community service. She wants me to keep adjourning her case. She wants to keep giving me excuses. There's no reason why she could not attend NA. There's no reason why she, she should have missed her drug test, which she won't admit that she missed. And there's no reason, or I haven't been given any reason about the, the $420, which of course is the least important thing to me. I, Ms. Young was placed on probation for two years and she is doing the bare absolute minimum of nothing. Amen. And here's what's going to happen. Now, I've already violated her and sent her to 10 days in the Wayne County Jail. I continue to hold those 10 days in abeyance in the hopes that Ms. Young is going to step up to the plate and do something on this probation. But she continues to come here every single time, every single time. And then now today she got some medical emergency. I'm sure she probably gonna have a medical emergency on the next court date too. Every time she comes, this is what happens. Let me tell you what they have at the Wayne County Jail. They have a place where you mark they file medical, they go to the medical unit at the Wayne County Jail. They have doctors and nurses and people that attend to the jailers at the Wayne County Jail. Additionally, if Ms. Young is having a medical emergency, we will call right now 911. We will call for an ambulance for Ms. Young. She will be escorted to that hospital under the supervision of the department uh, or Wayne County Jail. She will not be free to leave. And when they treat her for whatever her ailment is, she will then go to the Wayne County Jail. But what she's not going to do is continue to come to court and give me these excuses. Excuses. Miss Young could have been discharged from probation last year. Uh, let's see. Yeah, last year in September, she could have been discharged from probation. We are we are edging up on two years. If we get to the end of her probation and we're in this same situation, now she's not going to do 10 days. She's going to do 93 days. So I just need to know, does Miss Young want to do the probation or not? Or is she going to continue to give me excuses because we could go ahead and get the 93 days out of the way? May I, Your Honor? You may. So I would just say, um, honestly, by Ms. Young's actions, um, you know, the truth of the matter is, no, she doesn't want to do the community service. And no, she doesn't want to have to do the N.A. But a stronger no is that she doesn't want to go to jail. Oh, no, but yeah. the tree is known by the fruit it bear. I bear a fruit that says I want to go to the Wayne County Jail. And I think there's also fruit that says, no, I don't want to go to the Wayne County Jail. As evidence is nothing else, Your Honor, by the fact that understanding this court's position and understanding what the court has said to her previously, Ms. Young did make it down here to the courthouse today. So I don't believe she wants to go to jail. I believe that if the only alternative to her going to jail is doing exactly what this court has told her to do, do, the, do an assignment which you can do through community service, and there are plenty of those assignments available. I think if that's her only way to stay out of jail, I certainly believe that Ms. Young is ready willing and able to do that. Um, I believe with the continued involvement of her outstanding probation officer, Ms. Young can find a way to do Narcotics Anonymous in a way which is not going to interfere with her doctor's orders. I think that they can get her some community service, which is not going to interfere with her doctor's orders. And I just, you know, I, I would be remiss if I just, if I didn't say Ms. Young is on probation to this court for charged with child abuse, charged, I think, with operating while under the influence, and whatever conditions of probation that she has been able to comply with, Your Honor, have interrupted that cycle. So she's not back here charged with hurting any other children. She's not back here charged with endangering the motoring public. Um, and, and I think she could, and I think she better, step up her efforts to comply with this order. I think she can do that, Judge. I think the probation, as long as it's taking as slow as compliance, it has had the rehabilitative effect that this court, I believe, oh, intended for it to have. I don't think so. I don't think it's, she rehabilitated in the least. And 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 this is what I'm going. This is what I'm saying, um, because uh, I disagree with you. I, one thing I know for sure, my work. I, I speak. I speak so clearly. I, I speak. I, I, I make my intentions known. This isn't the first time Ms. Young is hearing me say these things today. Th this is not the first time. But apparently, as my mother and my grandmother used to say, she don't believe fat meat is greasy. She, she feel like, oh, the judge, gonna, she not, she's not really going to do what she said she was going to do. Ms. Young is before this court, as you have so uh, eloquently said, on a child abuse case. Child abuse. That bitch needs to go to jail. And you all want me to keep 
fooling around with Miss Young as opposed to requiring her to do this stuff. I, she, I, I don't have time to keep coming back and forth with Miss Young. She's here on child abuse and uh, operating under the influence. Now, this is ridiculous. She should probably, listen, maybe Miss Young needs a trip to the Wayne County Jail to help her see that she does not want to stay there for the for the amount of time. And I, and I said 93 days, but I don't know what the, which degree child abuse this is and and whether it's a one year or uh, or ninety three day misdemeanor, and then um, and then she oh second degree, so this might be a one year misdemeanor. This second degree, it's four judge. That's the misdemeanor. Oh, four. I think it's a year, but it's four. Oh, she pled to the one that's fourth degree. Yes, but it's still a year. I believe yeah, so. She's gonna be going to jail for three hundred and sixty five days. And I, oh. I would argue that she's going to be doing these 10 days, these seven days of community service. Some place where she can use her walker to do that, I would argue that she's going to continue to sit under the tutelage and supervision of probation officer Bumpus and, and make sure that she does everything she can do not to have to go um, be a patient with the medical unit over at the Wayne County Jail. Okay, well, it seems like to me, I might need to increase her, I might need to increase the supervision fees because it seems like Miss Bumpus is, I'm trying to spotlight again because I'm trying to see y'all. Seems like Miss Bumpus is getting getting a lot of extra work. This is requiring a lot of extra oversight, a lot of extra push. Seems like nobody wouldn't have to push me not to go to jail. No, nobody wouldn't have to say two or three or four times to me, if you don't do this, you're gonna go to jail. No, it seems like nobody would have to do that to me. But I'm not Miss Young. She's gonna keep coming here pretending like she got these medical emergencies. She's gonna keep on using whatever those restrictions are as her excuse. And what I'm going to tell you is that I won't lose jurisdiction over Miss. Young, which is going to occur in September. If Ms. Young comes back to me at the next review, because this will be then the third time that she's come back to me in the same situation that she left the first time. If she comes back with the same stuff, I'm just revoking the probation. And then she's probably, maybe she won't do the whole year because she's done some couple of things on the probation. But let me be clear, she must test and she must keep up with the testing herself. I, I don't, I'm not, I'm not keeping up with whether she, it's a day for her to go pay, a day for her to go test, a day for her to do this. She has to keep up with it. And if, if she said they didn't call her, then she needs to challenge it. She needs to challenge it appropriately. But I'm not, I'm not going to keep doing this with Miss Young. I'm not, this is the last. When I tell you this is the last time that Ms. Young is going to tell me about her restrictions, that clearly we could find her some community service within those restrictions. This is the last time she's going to use some restrictions that just came about a year, a, a whole year into her. Stop talking to the officer, ma'am. You need to be listening to me. Restrictions that didn't come about until after she's been on probation for a whole year and a half. Now, certainly that's not what we're leaning on. So I'm going to give her a date to come back. And, and if she feels like she's not going to do the community service until after that April date, that's her business. That's her business. But in May or in June, because I think I'm bringing her back in June, her, her little situation, she needs to get her affairs in order. And then trust this. Trust this. If she don't come back, I'm going to send them to execute the warrant. I'm going to specifically call and ask for an execution of this warrant. And so wherever she is, at the doctor, at her house, back to work, she's going to get picked up and she's going to be sentenced to probably six months in the Wayne County Jail. We are here for putting other people's lives in danger operating under the influence some people could have died including her child abuse the children are traumatized so we're not going to act like just because these are misdemeanors they're not serious i can see your face miss young just just know that so i disagree with you miss stevenson i think that miss young thinks that we're inconvenienced in her life and she's the one convicted of child abuse and operating under the influence. I disagree that, that this probation has had any rehabilitative impact on this young. 
But by the time we get to June, rehabilitation is no longer my goal. By the time I get to June, rehabilitation is no longer the goal of the court. At that time, the court is only interested in Ms. Young uh, serving a sentence for her crimes, her crimes, two of them, her crimes, the crimes for which she has been convicted. I'm going to set the matter for review Thursday, June 22nd at 1.32. That means it's in person again. And the next time I'm not going to be up here in this office, I'm going to come down to the courtroom. If Ms. Bumpus does not have a good report, I need Ms. Bumpus to have a good report. I need the report to say that Ms. Young has not missed any tests, that Ms. Young has she should be complete with community service. And then what are we doing about the 420? She needs to be in NA. That's on Zoom. It's no reason she shouldn't be going to NA except for her cantankerousness. In fact, if she doesn't present some proof of NA, I want Ms. Bumpus uh, in the next 30 days, I want Ms. Bumpus to do a show cause. She needs to start going to N.A. immediately. So, Ms. Simpson, what are we, the 420, that looks like it's the mandatory cost on each count. 210 times 2. So, it can't be converted to community service. She needs to pay it. Okay. All right, anything further? Nothing further. Uh, other than um, thank you very, very much for this opportunity, Your Honor, and um, we're going to get on it. Thank you, Judge. Yeah, you can say something to me. Now, you might be against your attorney's advice. So, actually, and I do want to state for the record, I am advising Ms. Young um, uh, that the court has been extremely um and unprecedentedly, that's a word, generous in its resolution of this matter. And I am advising Marnice Young to uh, remain silent at this time and let us move forward from here. And any statement that she makes in this courtroom today is absolutely against the advice of counsel. I would love to hear this. So would I. Ma'am, do you want to say anything against the advice of your counsel? Yes. Go ahead. You know, I, I am so thankful. You just don't know where I can come from with all of it. You know, I had three surgeries back to back. That's what started to call rolling. I don't have a problem doing community service. I don't have a problem going down there and getting them folks my credit card and them take their money off there. I guarantee you, I, I have not missed a day. My paperwork says first third taken out. That means I don't have to come back to the middle of the month. No, you come back whenever they tell you to, ma'am. It's a random test. It's a random test. It's a yeah. random test. They could call you three day, two days in a row. Never. Okay. I don't care what they have ever done, ma'am. I'm telling you that it's a random test. Therefore, you don't get to say, well, I just went, so I don't have to go back until the middle of the month. Otherwise, everybody would know when they could smoke. Everybody would know when they could drink. Everybody would know when. If I just went for a test, then I'm, I got enough time to get some in. But you didn't explain that to me like that. I don't have to. It's not my responsibility to. I don't no, have to just, explain just, that. I have said to you that you are going to submit to random tests. That means whenever they call you, you're going to go. Okay, I've been talking to Ms. Bumpers about, she's been talking to somebody about can I get community, some type of community, some type of way, other way. I failed and, and I messed up my left hip. This is I too much information for me. Uh, this is, I'm going to interrupt you, ma'am. This is too much information. I'm not your probation officer and I'm not your lawyer. I'm not interested in these minute details. I'm only interested in you completing the probation. If you have th this information, that's information that you give to your lawyer and to the probation officer. And then if they believe it's fitting, then they will bring it to my attention. But the fact that you failed three times, had three surgeries and all of that is of no consequence to me. What you have are some restrictions from your doctor that do not preclude you from doing community service. That that's what you have. 
So the letter from your doctor shows me that you could go somewhere within those restrictions and do community service. I've listed at least five places today. So that's what you work out with them. I'm not interested in the fact of, of, of explaining to you the procedures of the drug testing facility. I don't work for the drug testing facility. What I know is that whenever they call your color, which is why you have to call every single day. If the policy was, once we test you, you don't have to call back for two weeks, then that's what they would have told you. But clearly, since they have you calling every single day, then there is a possibility that on any of those days, you are going to have to show up for, for a drug test. It is not up to you to say that it was in the beginning of the month, so now I don't have to go back to the middle of the month. Well, what is random about that? Nothing. Nothing is random about that. So do the community service. Don't miss another drug test. Pay the, the mandatory cost, and you're going to be good and do that NA. Otherwise, you're going to go to jail. Anything mm -hmm. else, Ms. Stevenson? Yeah. Nothing further on behalf of Ms. Young. Thank you very much, Your Honor. I mean, Ms. Young, but I, you are a whole tight. I'm coming downstairs. I'm going to know what world. Ms. Young, I think it's appropriate to walk away from the court while I am still conducting a proceeding. So I figured I would come down here in the courtroom and maybe that would make a difference for her because obviously, while I'm up on Zoom, she, she doesn't think this is a court hearing. So that would be equivalent to her right now walk, getting up, going and walking out the door. So I'm confused as to why she thinks it's appropriate for her to keep passing papers, keep talking to my officer, taking her book from the officer, walking away while I'm literally speaking. Can, can somebody explain that to me? In a way which makes sense, Judge? No. But I would um, just let the court know while it definitely is not any excuse, it's really not any justification, not even a reason, but just to give the court a frame of reference, um, Ms. Young, as I've said in other representations of Ms. Young, is um, it has a lot going on and is frustrated with the process, um, believes the process should go in a way in which it doesn't go. So I guess I think it's helpful for her to see the court face to face. But I don't believe that she's operating from a place where she has disrespect for this court. I think she just doesn't get it. Um, I don't believe that any kind of incarceration is going to help her to get it. Yeah, at some point, it's not about her getting it once she's going to jail. I understand that, Judge. I just don't think that that's going to change anything. And I just would ask the court to stick by its ruling and let Ms. Young get this community service done, get the Narcotics Anonymous meetings, in which I just don't see any way that that would be harmful to her in any way, shape, or form. Um, and, and keep screening, keep just trying to get this probation done. But I don't think she's operating from a place where she has disrespect or disregard for this court. I just don't think she, she gets it. So is this a case that failed the crap that should have been referred to one of the specialty courts? That's definitely impossible. Oh, based on something in her criminal history? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Because, okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, well. Okay, so did I order her? I did not. I'm looking at the order. Did I? She did the inpatient, to, uh, uh, inpatient drug treatment, but I didn't order any other type of counseling or treatment, did I? Maybe that's what we need to change. Okay, maybe is it is it too late to change that? But is it too late to change that? I would switch out to community service for that if I could, if we could find something. She um, was attending. Where was she going? Uh, great, sign that great. They have like an ongoing great. Yes, but something happened and she stopped going. I don't know. Well, maybe if it's a part of the court's order. Oh, she said the pandemic. Okay, let's get her back in. So let's do this. I'm going to amend the order from the seven days community service. And instead, now listen, okay, from, from the seven days community service to um, her enrolling in and maintaining mental health treatment. 
I will also, if she does that, waive the mandatory costs. And then, um, but, the, but the ENA, has, she has to do that. But maybe she could do that in some way as a part of, um, in connection with the, with the mental health treatment. So let's do that. I didn't remember that she did qualify for the specialty court. Let's, let's amend the order in that way. Okay. Um, so Ms. Bumpkins, maybe, well, y'all said she's having a, some type of emergency. So I'm not going to make her stay today. But let's see if we can either get her back in Sinai Grace or find another program that she can get into. That sounds more appropriate because that is this whole thing hasn't been made sense to me. So now it makes more sense to me. Okay. Thank you. Give a knowledge for therapy. I mean, she was very excited about coming here today. I know, and then now I'm probably traumatized. She, she does respect this program. All right. Y'all have to remind me if I've got to. Um, I told you this is why I like sending people to special court because there's more grace and stuff over there. All right, but now that, that, that has been brought back to my remembrance, because I think I might have known it at one point and since then at least, let's do that. Let's get her back in the treatment and then forget about the community service. Um, I can't stop the testing though because it, she's on the on the that second count. Um, it's, the testing is required, so she she has to keep testing. But I mean, she's going. It's just that she isn't going. She goes, and I think it's coming back negative. Which it is. is. I, you haven't had any positive. All right, let's just get her in the treatment and I'll work with the rest later. Okay? All right. And we're going to keep that same review date. Okay. Thank you right. very much. You're welcome. Your Honor, I'm sorry. Did you want me to send a show cause or anything? No, don't show cause her. Well, show, only show cause her if, if she's refusing the, um, to go to the end of the treatment. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much.